Hey guys, so I would like to share a build um, for FF16. I call this build Mage build. So basically it's long range attack. I will not be doing much slashing. I would just be casting magic. So for this build, I'm using Shiva as the main icon. So basically Shiva, what it does is when you press circle, she, she can dodge in all directions. So it make it, make it much, much easier for us to create a gap between the enemy so we can easily evade attack we can get away from all the um, dangerous situation and such and the good thing is that when we double tap when we dodge uh, Shiva will also create a trap and if the enemy hits the trap they will freeze and when they freeze that is also the best time when we can continuously spam them with magic attacks um, if you do a precision dodge with Shiva then it will also trigger permafrost which freezes the enemy for a longer period of time so for the ability wise here my main ability that i'll be using is impulse and heat wave so impulse basically it is like a homing laser and it will constantly attack the enemy while we are given the freedom to use any other ability so it's not a chaining ability it's just there and it will continuously attack the enemy for a certain duration of time while heat wave the advantage is that if there is a gap between us and the enemy it is likely that the enemy will attack us with long range attack and heat wave will be able to dispel the attack and when it dispel it also reduces the cooldown and hence you can continuously dispel an attack which is pretty cool in my opinion the second the third ability here that i want to highlight is satellite so i have ramo icon as the second one so basically if i'm given a like i do have the time for me to use blind justice then i can stack up the charge on the enemy and hence when i attack the enemy with long range attack it will trigger the charge so it makes it much safer and easier to use but the main thing here is satellite from Bahamut skill so satellite basically it brings up two orbs and when we press triangle and use our magic attack the orb will attack as well so with impulse satellite heat wave and continuously spamming triangle button it is pretty quick that we will be able to stagger the enemy so once the enemy is staggered, I have another three more ability here which is thunderstorm judgment bolt and giga flare so I will hit the enemy with thunderstorm followed by judgment blow then i will use giga flare so the advantage of giga flare here it is a chain ability uh, so when we are chaining giga flare it actually helps to cool down the other ability as well while the time is slowed for the enemy so pretty much impulse bring up satellite use heat wave whenever there's a projectile coming or else just continuously press triangle until the enemy is staggered if there's any attack coming your way melee attack that you cannot dispel with heat wave then use shiva to dodge try to create a gap between you and the enemy and if you are out of let's say you are out of judgment bolt or giga flare then we can always use the third icon here which is phoenix so i can always dash in and slash the enemy when they are staggered or activate my limit break and do that as well so for the accessories here I'm using the breath of light satellite so um, that is one of the main ability that I'll be using so I need it to be cooled down as fast as possible so this accessory reduces the cooldown by four seconds if I'm not mistaken in new game plus we can merge it and it will double so it will be eight seconds so it's about every 40 seconds that we can reuse the ability for satellite then the second accessory is the breath of light impulse again impulse will be the main ability it is good to stagger it is good to damage the enemy so get it up as soon as possible use it every time it is up and for the third accessory i'm using heat wave so heat wave if we dispel it reduces to eight to nine like roughly 10 seconds and with the reduction from the ring uh, from the accessory then we literally can spam heat waves if we are against an enemy that continuously uses projectiles all right so this build basically 
uh, it is pretty fun to use you don't have to get near the enemy so um, yeah so if you like a mage build where you can shoot from far do try this out the remaining of the video is just a um, showcase that I did in the Hall of Virtue so I hope you enjoy the video and if you would want more videos like this do subscribe to my channel thanks Good. <laughs> 